So that took a dark turn. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Z in Disneyland. Today is just five weeks until the release of Toy Story 4, so today I'm going to be counting down my five favourite villains, if that is even a thing. So today I'm wearing my personalised Primark t-shirt that says the Z in Disney at the bottom. I actually love this shirt, I think without being big headed that I did a really good job of this shirt. I'm really proud to own it. So like I said today, I'm counting down my five favourite villains and I would love for you guys to tell me in the comments who is your favourite villain and why. So number one, he was in the thumbnail, it is Lotso. Okay, so Lotso is a bad guy, but he's very misunderstood. If he hadn't been unintentionally abandoned, if he'd worked through those emotions, then maybe he wouldn't be the way he is. He is just scared of being abandoned again, that is all this is, and I feel really sorry for him. So even though I'd say he is the most complex villain the Toy Story films have ever had, I still think there is room for him to change. So number two is Sid. Sid was just sick. I have said in the past that he is creative certainly, but to just destroy someone else's toys, let alone your own, is a bit sick. So he is just a really bad villain through and through. We do see him again in Toy Story 3, but we never got to see whether he's a nice guy now. Obviously it's hard to tell from the short clip you saw of him. Third is Al. As a collector myself, I can understand wanting the full set of something, but he purely wanted it just to sell and make a lot of money, and he was willing to steal from a child to be able to do that, so I don't think Al should be given any sort of credit. Even if he had wanted the set for himself, to steal it from a child was just really, really low, and it can't be forgiven in my eyes. So Al is definitely a villain. Number four is Stinky Pete. He would be a lot so, just someone that really wants to be seen instead of being in storage, had he not tried to threaten everybody with a pickaxe. He was fine at the start and then all of a sudden he just switched and I can never see him as a nice character anymore, I'm so sorry. Number five is Emperor Zerg. Obviously he's a bit of a Darth Vader, he just wants to take over. I don't actually consider him that much of a villain once you find out that he's Buzz's dad. Sorry if you didn't know that, if you, if you didn't know that I don't know why you're watching these videos, you really need to go and watch the Toy Story films. But I just feel like yes he's a villain but at the same time he's a really important character and it's nice that Buzz knows who his dad is even though that's literally impossible but there you go he's a toy. Toy Story never has these really big villains that you remember throughout the whole film so Emperor Zerg is in the first one as well as the second one I think he's mentioned in the first one so you've got Sid in the first one, and then you've got Owl and Stinky Pete and Emperor Zerg in the second one. And then you've just got Lotso and his buddies in the third one. But it's not like a pure good versus evil setup in these films. What I mean to say is like their problems aren't purely down to the villain. They're villains, but they aren't as bad as proper villains in other films. So they're not like Hades, they're not like Maleficent, it's not like they're gonna try and kill the other usually. It, Pixar villains are always really really different to Disney villains because Disney villains you know they're villains from the start but Pixar villains seem to creep up on you. They're usually someone that you quite trust because the toys did trust Lotso and Woody did trust Stinky Pete. And I think this is more important because not everybody is bad the first time you meet them. Sometimes people become bad and you have to be prepared for that basically. 
so I'm actually really glad that Pixar teaches this lesson through their villains because it's taught me a lot about trusting people and that people aren't always who you thought they were when you first met them. So that took a dark turn but thank you so much for watching. Next week is four weeks to go and I will be sharing with you my four favourite couples so make sure you come back for that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you then. Bye!